today we're going to be talking about giant kingfish, otherwise known as GT, uh, the bad boy of the reef, or an absolute bruiser. Uh, Caryx ignobilis, so it's part of the, the kingfish family, obviously Caryx being the genus. And yeah, this is the real absolute king of the ocean. Uh, GT, the name comes from giant trevelli. And so what we call kingfish in Australia, they call trevelli because they like being different. And what they take, what's then the giant trevelli, GT, gets shortened. That's kind of the name that we use all around the world. So if you say GT to anyone, you'll see either a hand will start shaking or their eyes will glisten uh, at the thought of catching them. Now, as we said, big, big bruiser of a fish. Uh, they can attain 80 kgs, although catching one of over 50 is quite a rarity. They get to almost two meters in length, so about 1.7, 1.8. Um, but the magic mark is over a meter generally. Now, in terms of where you're going to find them, coral reefs. They are probably the top dog on the coral reef, uh, besides the potato bass. So GTs will ram a shark out of the way to get something. They'll ram any other fish out of the way to get something. They just they've got this big meaty head. It's a very large-bodied fish with a very flat head that shapes up. That's kind of the difference between them and some of the other kingfish. Um, they look very similar, but it's that big flat-shaped head that sits in the front. And they, they use that to actually knock other fish out the way to get to prey and to knock each other out the way. Uh, so yeah, coral reefs, rocky reefs, and then generally over sand, but they're moving between the, t the areas. Uh, juveniles is one of the species that you find are quite reliant on estuaries. So you're gonna find the juveniles under about 30 centimeters are permanently in estuaries. You're not gonna really find them out on the the, rock, the sandy beaches or anything. So another plea just for protection of estuaries and to prevent the same netting that's going on at the moment. But yeah, estuaries, the smaller guys, and then as they move up in size, they're gonna move between the estuary and the surf. And then once they get over about, say, 50 centimeters out, they're gonna be permanently based outside the estuary, unless they're coming in to breed or to just have fun. Uh, one of the prime places you can see this happening, big GTs moving in, is in Tentu Estuary, uh, down in the Transcar. It's lucky enough that it's been protected for quite a long time, so it is still one of those pristine places you can actually catch GTs of over 20 kilos in an estuary. Now, in terms of maturity, they're going to mature at about 65 centimeters, which is about a three-year-old fish, so they grow quite quickly uh, compared to a lot of other species you're going to find on the reef and they're going to spawn in summer of KZN, which is really when you're going to be targeting them. Uh, not very often do they, are they targeted primarily on bait. You're going to be a lot of bycatch. So the guys that fish for diamonds up at Tintinzini Wading Banks and that kind of area often catch them when they throw a big bonnie head or something like that. You would have seen older videos, say, of like Lloyd catching one when they were up that side. Um, but yeah, often a bycatch. If you're specifically targeting them, they're really more it's going to be much more consistent targeting them off a boat and specifically with artificial lures. Um, off the shore you do get them but then you're looking much more tropical so, so further up the coast into Mozambique and further north. They occur all, all around the world. Um, as we said earlier mentioning the word GT is going to give most people the shakes because they've either encountered one or they can remember catching one. Uh, they're extremely strong fish, very large tail, um, like we said, big, strong, meaty body. And they're a dream fish for many people. They are caught on, on bait, they're caught on lures, and they're caught on fly. Um, on the fly fishing side, they, a fish over 100 centimeters from the shore is, is the dream. And then lures, the guys catch them off the boats and from the shore. If you're going for the smaller guys, so everything from, I'd say, about 15 kilos under, your general spinning tackle 11 foot 6 extra heavy like our new BG would be perfect for that say 20 or possibly even 30 pound braid to be able to stop him quickly enough and then I'd go with a 4500 reel just to give you a little bit more bulk so the 4500 BG or saltist would be perfect for that. Um, remember to do a slightly heavier uh, braided leader with a mono leader if you are going to be fishing for them in the rocks. Then if we're going for the big boys so 20 kilos and upwards you really gonna need to target them with extremely heavy tackle and not normally caught from the side so off the boat you're gonna be looking at a 8 foot 6 plugging rod uh, our saltus plugging rod will be absolutely perfect for that 
and then an 8,000 size reel with 80 pound plus braid. I'd say 80 pounds just get that little bit more uh, capacity on and then throwing big big poppers so your GT25 uh, wild dogs will be will be hundreds for that. In terms of keeping fish they're really not the greatest eating uh, so please let them go. <laughs> Don't save yourself the the lack of joy in eating them. Uh, guys, in terms of handling, uh, like any other fish, you don't want to lift it by the gills. Uh, try and keep your hands away from the gills, handle it by the tail. But it's one of those species you've got to be very careful because they have um, scoots. It's actually like little scale extensions like that that sit in, uh, in series along the back uh, on that pendunker region. So between the anal fins and the tail, it sits along in a stripe. They can scrape your hands and cut your hands quite badly. So use a cloth or take your hat off and wrap it around to pull, pull the fish off. Because you are fishing up north, you will be wearing a hat because sun protection, so you can use that. Um, interestingly enough, they, the male fish can sometimes be completely black. They can actually change color when they get angry. They do go to a darker color, and the big males can often be completely black fish. Um, in terms of specifically targeting them from the shore, if you are wanting to do that, uh, like we said, the lures are one way of doing it, but up further north, so your Sudwana, your Vidal, that kind of area, uh, a live bait, so ideally a large spot pompano is, is deadly for them as well as a bonefish, especially up there. Uh, so putting a live bait out into deeper water behind the reef or whatnot will be, will be really a, a prime way of targeting them and specifically at night they seem to come in a little bit closer. Um, yeah, if you want to go out, you want to test your back, test your tackle, this is the fish to do it on. So cheers, good luck.